Deadlines are approaching for active duty military members to get the COVID vaccine. The Department of Defense is requiring the vaccinations for the military. News on 6's Jonathan Cooper joins us live with what one Oklahoma doctor says about that mandate. Jonathan. Craig, all branches of the military have set their own deadlines for getting the COVID-19 vaccine, but there are some lawsuits pending asking to overturn that decision. Members of the United States military are facing a looming requirement. Get the COVID-19 vaccine or potentially face punishment. Branches of the military have set different deadlines after the Department of Defense mandated the shots a couple of months ago. For the Navy, it's November 28th, the Army, December 15th. And for members of the Air Force, their deadline was last Tuesday. We need a healthy military to do its job. Dr. Mary Clark is the president of the Oklahoma State Medical Association and says vaccine requirements for the military are nothing new. Right now, the Department of Defense already administers 17 vaccines to service members with different requirements based on risk and location. There are additional vaccines that are required for certain personnel, depending on where they're going to be deployed. The military offers exemptions for certain health conditions and on religious grounds, but not everyone is on board. Numbers from October show that 7% of Marines have not gotten a COVID-19 shot. And right now, lawsuits from members of all branches are pending, Visible asking the DOD to overturn the mandate. The Clark says no matter what, most people enrolling in the military can expect a lot of shots. They will be required to be immunized, period. There is, up until now, really been no question. A company called CHS and Associates just completed a poll in Oklahoma about COVID-19. It found that 60% of Oklahomans believe the government should not interfere in private businesses making decisions on whether or not to vaccinate employees. Now that poll though did not ask specifically about the military. Reporting live in Tulsa, Jonathan Cooper, Oklahoma's own News on 6.